There seems to be no end to the amount of evil that Israel inflicts upon the Palestinian people. We are constantly given stories, non-stop videos, of Palestinians being tortured, killed, and all other kinds of nastiness by Israeli IDF soldiers. One of the things that has always been a contentious issue is whether or not the Israeli soldiers target children deliberately. Now, for those of us who have uh, even the most basic critical eye, that's been fairly obvious. That there has been a deliberate targeting of Palestinian children by IDF forces. But now an Israeli general, who is uh, has snipers stationed along the border with Gaza, has admitted that they deliberately targeted children. That's right, snipers are deliberately targeting little children. And he made this admission during an interview on the radio. In the radio interview, Brigadier General Zviga Fogel described how his snipers identified the small body of a child and is given authorization to shoot. Meaning they radioed their superior, said that it was a child, and then were given permission to shoot. Now, it was Brigadier General Fogel that was interviewed by Ron Niso on the Israeli public radio network called Khan, or Khan, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Fogel is a former chief of staff to the Israeli Army's Southern Command, which includes the occupied Gaza Strip. There is video of an Israeli sniper shooting dead 14-year-old Muhammad Ibrahim Ayub. The boy shot in the head east of Jabalia was the fourth child among the more than 30 Palestinians killed during the Great March of Return rallies that began in Gaza on March 30th. Not only did he admit that Israeli snipers deliberately target children and that they are ordered to by people with higher authority than them, he also defended the practice live on the radio. Greetings, Brigadier General Zvika Vogel. Should the IDF rethink its use of snipers? There's the impression that maybe someone lowered the bar for using live fire, and this may be the result? Ron, let's maybe look at this matter on three levels. At a tactical level that we love all love dealing with, the local one, also at the level of values, and with your permission, would also rise up to the strategic level. At the tactical level, any person who gets close to the fence, anyone who could be a future threat to the border of the state of Israel and its residents should bear a price for that violation. If this child or anyone else gets close to the fence in order to hide an explosive device or check if there are any dead zones there or to cut the fence so someone could infiltrate the territory of the state of Israel to kill us, then, then his punishment is death. His punishment is death, as far as I'm concerned, then yes. If you can sh only shoot him to stop him in the leg or arm, great. But if it's more than that, then yes. You want to check with me whose blood is thicker, ours or theirs. It is clear to you that if one such person will manage to cross the fence or hide an explosive device there. This accusation that children are being used to plant explosives is, well, f completely fabricated. During the Great March of Return, numerous people, Palestinians, have been given horrific injuries, disabilities, lost limbs, all manner of gruesome unholiness unleashed upon them by Israeli snipers. And now we have a general admitting that not only is it ordered that children be killed, but will publicly go on the radio and defend the practice of murdering children. It has been known for decades how terrible the, the settler colonial state of Israel is how bad the Zionist occupation of Palestinian land is. And those who support it have lived in absolute and complete denial, if not just outright supporting the very racist nature of it. If this doesn't wake you up to what's going on there, if this doesn't tell you 
that this is a genocide, if it doesn't tell you that this is what Israel has been doing for decades, when they admit to what they're doing, then there's no hope for you. You're never going to come to the realization that this is a genocide. This is a crime against humanity. And you know what? God help your soul. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.